Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. And guys, this is literally insane. Most of the altcoins, which I have been hoarding for the last couple of weeks here, are literally breaking the internet. Look at this. We bought a ton of mana, a ton of sandbox, a ton of engine, a little bit of Alice, some Illuvium, which is just doing amazing. A little bit of Starlink. Let's quickly see what we also bought. Miners, Atlas, which luckily did not do so well. I didn't buy into any of these. We had some Veracity, not too much luckily as well for that part. Um, let's quickly see what else one we got because it's been going insane. Guys, I keep sharing on my channel that Metaverse coins are what we need to go big on right now. A lot of people are looking at my channel thinking, what is this crazy guy talking about, huh? But let's quickly look on my channel how many freaking videos I have made on Metaverse coins. It is, it is, it is not, it's not normal anymore how many I've done throughout the last couple of weeks here. All right, it started out a couple of weeks ago when I was just given an introduction to Metaverse coins just after the Facebook announcement. People really weren't that interested at the time, but afterwards I just... Change my channel around a little bit because metaverse coins are, are, are the freaking bomb. I keep sharing it on the channel. Hopefully now some more people believe that this is the stuff to go for. It is an amazing opportunity. And I keep telling you, we are so ridiculously early in this entire metaverse sphere. sphere that's just going to keep taking over. It's going to keep taking over and I'm going to put more and more money into it. We also have some meta hero and there's another one I think that we missed. But the major reason why I'm going so heavy on those guys is mostly from the perspective that if Facebook's working on it, so Meta now, if Disney's working on it, if Microsoft is working on it, and we can all see the logical appeal in it, and we know it's literally future type of technology, there's like a one-to-one -one chance, there's like a 100% chance, if you ask me, my own personal opinion, that this stuff is going to pop off. But having said that, I don't mean to brag on anybody. All these gains are hopefully for all of us as I've been sharing my investment journey here on the channel. And today, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what coins I'm going heavy on. I just want to let you guys know, while also just celebrating how good Sandbox did. Ever since the Adidas partnership came out, it's still, I think, like doubled in price or so. It's been an amazing journey and I have so much cool news to share. Uh, but for right now, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you believe in the metaverse? Yes or no? And guys, make sure you press that like button. I want to see if we can actually hit 1000 likes on this video. That would be amazing. If we do, I'll think of something cool. All right. So make sure you press that button. Let's start with some, uh, I guess, additional stuff. First of all, guys, on the XRP price, because you know I got to talk about XRP, we've seen a couple of bounces at $1 too. And this is one thing which I tell all my followers who are looking into leverage trading. Guys, it's about finding patterns in the chart. And so if you notice, hey, we're bouncing within this area of about $1 too, for example, one, two, and then maybe even a third time. It is quite logical that the fourth time, once it does, you can try, or I would always say the third time, but okay, uh, you know, once, once it's hit that point that you basically try to buy in with a stop loss and, and basically try it out. So these are how supports and resistances work. Very often supports, they stay supports and that's basically what you trade with. Now you can look at a couple of other patterns like the RSI for some examples, but in my personal case here, I mostly look at Bitcoin, see how that one does. Look at the entire Alcomar cap, see how that does. And a couple of times here, once it hit, we actually noticed that most other altcoins were going up. And if that's the case, then it's pretty logical that it's gonna bounce off again. And so let's see here. If we, we identified this area of about $1 to $1.04, I'm gonna say $1, one to $1.04 a little bit earlier, I'm not sure that we did, but this support here, I did not draw in today. This has been there for a little while. So most likely this was some historical support as well. Uh, as again, it's not something I've drawn today. I didn't do anything to the chart today. Then let's say if we bought every single time, the same thing how I'll go about $1.07, right? Like I told you guys about before, which by the way, the last specific good buy was about November 17th of $1.07. Could we have made a couple of good investment decisions afterwards? Yes, we could have. As our stop loss is at about 99 cents for this trade, I told you guys, and you would have still been in that trade if you didn't get stopped out right here. I don't think so though. Yeah, you would have still been in that trade here. Uh, then again, 
One dollar two. Let's see. We could have bought once, twice, three times, four times, five times. And then the fifth time that we would buy would be a little bit of a bust, depending on how the price is going to go now. But that's why we identify trends in the price. And that's why we go with leverage, because then we can use these smaller little portions to the best of our advantage. As this is, again, 5%, for example, with leverage, guys, that is 50% gains that we get in those scenarios. Right now, by the way, guys, there's a freaking crazy deposit blast off plus a really, really nice NFT giveaway, which I recommend everybody to join because it just takes like $10 in the sense that you have to make one trade worth $10. Registering here doesn't cost anything and you have six days to go. And so just make sure you check it out. A uh, last update on the Bybit regard is that the PTU one is almost here, guys. It's almost here. You have a couple more hours to join, about 10 more hours until it goes um, into the subscription period. Yeah, it, it's closing at about 12 UTC tonight. And how this works is you just have to hold BIT in your balance and then you can buy into this one. And I hope it's going to be a freaking bang. Now, also, one thing I shared earlier but didn't put enough emphasis on is that India is banning almost every single crypto, which might be why the narrative is not too good today. But at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters. I digress. Sandbox token. Sand rallies 260% in November. Here's the catalyst behind the price surge. So Sand has been doing really, really, really amazing, everybody. And I'm so excited to see it go like this. I'm partially is because they have a huge event happening on the 29th. And two days ago, guys, I told you, no, actually, um, I think four days ago when they announced that the 29th is going to be their opening gates, I told you all we can actually start buying into sand even heavier now, even though the price had already pumped like 10, 20%. Because if they have an opening the 29th, you can already imagine that the price is going to keep pumping, the appeal is going to be there up until like the 28th when things might change. Sometimes the price dumps like crazy at that, that point, sometimes... Just crazy things can happen. But up until the 28th, we are almost certain that AP will be there for buy-ins. Then again, things went a little bit heavier than I could have anticipated as they again got themselves a partnership with Adidas and the hype was just popping off right now as Metaverse articles are really surrounding the entire just realm here. Look at this. Top seven Metaverse tokens to invest in. Articles like this, I've seen like 10,000 of right now. As everybody knows, everybody who's deep in crypto knows, Metaverse is, 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 is just, if you're not invested in Metaverse, guys, like I've been shouting for a couple of weeks here, I don't know what you're doing. Is this a recommendation for you all? It's not financial advice, but it is a personal little recommendation that I can give you. As a person, as an individual, as a, just a guy on this planet, I am telling you, I am going really heavy on this, and I do suggest everybody to look it up and heavily consider. Now, I cannot make any guarantees for the results, nor which of the Metaverse coins will really end up being the best, but I can tell you guys that I've really done some heavy investments into this, and I'm going not all in, but really heavy into it. So understand, I'm going really, really heavy into it. So again, Sand had that news for themselves. They have a launch 29th. Uh, Mana is also doing really amazing. They're having some records with the amount of uh, real estate that they're selling. You can see here, Metaverse Frenzy sends Decentraland to a new all-time high. People are just understanding now piece by piece that this is the stuff we got to go for. On a different end, it's not as if only Metaverse coins are doing well. Crypto.com has also been doing amazing. Now you're wondering, why is it surging? Well, we got a couple of parts for why it's doing so well. But I think the Kronos part and the Stadium part are both what's keeping it surging. And the fact that people were all saying, oh, Crypto.com to a dollar, Crypto.com to a dollar. Now, since everybody's shouting that, that the price just logically moves more towards that direction. For the same perspective, it's also kind of exclusive to Crypto.com, the platform. Right now, it's gotten on more and more exchanges, so it's getting more... I guess, inclusive. Uh, but before, it used to be really mostly on crypto.com itself, so it was kind of difficult to buy. So people have to join the platform, and thus it would also help with the buying pressure and whatnot. Uh, because if you can only buy on that platform, it logically gets the price up a little bit more as people go to the platform to buy, and they don't really want to sell. They want to get into it for the gains and for the platform, and you can stake to get more coins and whatnot. But yeah, crypto.com is doing really, really amazing, which is really cool to see. Uh, moving on, guys. There's a couple of Metaverse coins that I've never really talked about that I'm actually, I talked about it once or twice, that I'm a pretty big holder of. Illuvium here, I cannot say I'm actually the biggest holder, but I did get a good chunk. And I've also seen that one with some steady growth here. And that's because I did buy a little bit of the dip. And the thing is, it's really annoying to buy these coins, which are so quote unquote expensive, because it looks like you have like little. If you're buying a coin at like five cents, it feels like, oh, you're buying so cheap, you're buying juicy. And if you're buying a coin at like $1,000, it feels like you're getting in so expensive. Then again, it's of course about the amount of coins that are out there. For this one, there's only 600,000 coins out there right now, maximum 10 million uh, and total supply 7 million. 
so of course it's like relative you know they could have just done 1000 times as many coins the price would have been 1000 times less but it just feels more satisfying to buy a thousand coins rather than just buying one but oh my days is that a crazy pump and again i do believe in a lot of these coins a lot of the dow structures a lot of the metaverse coins it's just so 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 smart their open world fantasy battle game built on the ethereum blockchain often touted as the first aa game on ethereum uh, which is not so efficient, but all right. Illuvium looks to provide a source of entertainment to both casual gamers and hardcore DeFi fans through a range of collecting and trading features. Pretty cool, all right? I'm just saying pretty cool. Is it going to be the the best of the best? Hard to say. You know, they, they all are kind of similar, I'm not going to lie to you, in that they have kind of a similar structure, similar idea. A lot of these metaverse coins are really, really quite similar. Uh, but that's, again, why I'm just diversifying so heavily. But from a different perspective, most of these coins are doing really, really well when Bitcoin is not doing so. So if we just keep spreading our money out over these, I think in due time, it'll it'll really pop off and keep doing well. But that's just me. That's just the theory. Uh, side note, not metaverse related. Etoro just launched Cardano, Ada and Tron, which is pretty nice. Some, you know, some good news. I just wanted to quickly mention that before I uh, forget. And let's talk here real quick. What are a couple of coins here that I'm also buying that I haven't really talked too much about? Uh, I actually don't hold... Um, I think Ghost out of this list. I don't hold any Ghost whatsoever. I don't hold Metaverse Index. So I'm not exactly sure what those two are about. The Avagochi, I don't really hold. However, right now I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what? I'll just throw a little bit of money at most of these projects if they are easy to buy. Uh, the majority of these can be found over on, I think, BitTrue. A lot of these coins are on, which is the one, the exchange that I use the most. The link is down below right now. Um, some of them might not be on there. I also use sometimes, I just try whatever exchanges in this list that I already have. Like for example, for Starlink, I might've used HitBTC. I think Gate is also an exchange that a lot of people use. Not too sure in that. I also, for some of these, use KuCoin. A link for that is also down below, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I try my best, try my best, try my best. Um, but I, I'm just kind of throwing money at almost any single project that people come up to me with nowadays because every single one that I've bought in for the last couple of weeks has popped off. So I'm like... I, I have some money to diversify now into Metaverse. I'm going really heavy on that. There's two which are launching pretty shortly here, though, guys, that I'm also buying into. The launches are going to be, I think, in the next couple of months. So Open Origins, I'm buying into. It's launching, I believe, the 29th of November. Uh, the only problem is it has a pretty high market cap from the get-go. I think $600,000. So I'm hoping for like a times 20 or so at launch. Um, but we'll get more about that in the near future. And Magicraft, you guys already know it, the one that's really properly built and, and backed by all the YouTubers. I'm going pretty heavy on that one as well, if I can. Um, but you, you'll see more of that shortly, hopefully, as we get further and further. They, they keep sending us a look, some small updates here and there, so I'm pretty excited about that. Huh. But yeah, we shall see. It says here, only use ERC20 network deposit address we use. Can you already buy it, actually? Guess maybe through the whitelist you have to you know, fill in that form oh okay i didn't even know maybe that's already a possibility i'm not too sure about that but i'm going to be buying into that uh and the v launch by the way which we just talked about here is also pulling through i mean I, I, it was pretty difficult but i told you guys about this free ido allocation that you could get yourself into uh in my video late last night or yesterday somewhere i'm not exactly sure which video i talked about it in i think over in this video here, my top three gems, I talked about the free IDO. Hopefully a couple of you guys got in. The majority of us didn't, but there's, I think, a second wave coming, so I'm definitely going to try that again. As it's still a couple of hundred dollars, maybe a couple thousand dollars that you get for free, you know? So it's definitely always worth a try. And I try to share as many of those opportunities as I can possibly find. Uh, then again, guys, one thing I always recommend people to do is also try to go through the calendars here, go to free airdrops, as a couple of people that I know have made some good money with this. And for example, the Lovelace right now, they gave away, I think, $250 to every single person, right? And it was like a one in 1,000 chance to win, but still, $250 actually went times 40. So that means you got $10,000 for absolutely free for just filling in a list. And yeah, I would just personally say, try it out as many as you can, just join them all. Go through it, you don't need my guidance on how to get into this. If you don't know how to use MetaMask, check out Patreon, I made a guide for it over on there. But I don't think you need my expertise to, to you know, sign yourself up. It's really simple. So see really, really, you know, easy steps. Just go through whatever it says right there and you'll be fine. And then I also saw some XDC news, by the way. XSwap coming for XDC. They're making some steps. XDC, you guys always keep asking, please make updates on it. But you know, guys, it's not as easy to make updates on coins when there's not that much news going around for them. Specifically, if they're smaller cap projects, XDC is pretty big. But it's, it's just not as much news going around as, for example, an XRP or a you know, or a, or a Cardano or a 
coin that's just really high up there like crypto.com you know in the top 20 it's just a lot easier to get constant coverage for them so i try to find as much as i can uh, but just understand it's not as easy so where are we going next guys it's really hard to say when we'll see a small correction and, and when these things are actually overvalued right now as the market is in such a weird position but just understand and know that i'm buying like a freaking madman and going really really heavy on metaverse like i've been doing for the last couple of weeks uh be careful with the pump and dumps in the sense that right now sand is seven dollars it's pumped so much that you got to be a little bit more careful. But longer term, I hold all these and I will be getting more and more involved in all these. So now you guys know.